Question 1. What is WARM? Answer. WARM stands for Virtual Storage Access Method. It's a data management method used to organize, store, catalog, retrieve and delete the data sets in mainframe system. WARM and non-WARM. This access method makes it easier for an application to execute an I.O. operation, moving data between an I.O. device and memory. In fact WARM is the first access method designed for virtual storage environment. WARM supports fixed as well as variable length records. These records are placed in blocks of control intervals and these control intervals are further placed as control area. CA consists of multiple C's. Question 2. What are the advantages of WARM? Answer. O. Accessing the data is faster and easier. O. WARM supports more dataset types. O. Supports variety of I.O. techniques. O. Improves efficiency. O. Records can be accessed sequentially or randomly. Question 3. What are the disadvantages of WARM? Answer. O. WARM datasets require more storage space compared to other type of datasets due to control information C present in them. O. WARM can't be stored in tape. Volume 1. The WARM stored only in this. O. WARM is not a database like DB2, IMS DB and IDMS. Question 4. What is file status in WARM? Answer. The file status clause of the file control paragraph allows for each file to be associated with a file status key, i.e., the two character data item specified in the file status clause. If the file status clause is specified for a given file, a value indicating the status of each I.O. operation against that file is placed in the associated file status key. This value is stored in the file status key as soon as the I.O. operation is complete and before execution of any exception slash error declarative or invalid key slash attend phrase associated with the I.O. request. Question 5. What are the different types of WARM files available? Answer. ESDS Entry Sequence Data Set KSDS Key Sequence Data Set RRDS Relative Data Set Question 6. What is IDCAMS? Answer. IDCAMS is the access method services program. You run the IDCAMS program and supply AMS commands through Sysin. Examples of AMS commands are delete, define, repro, etc. Question 7. What is control interval? Control area. Answer. Control interval is analogous to a physical block for some files. It is the unit of I.O. Must be between 512 bytes to 32K, usually either 2K or 4K. A larger control interval increases performance for sequential processing while the reverse is true for random access. Under 6 when a record is locked, the entire C gets locked. Control area is a group of control intervals. CA is used during allocation. CA size is calculated based on the allocation type so tracks or records and can be max of one cylinder question 8 what is free space answer coded in the define as free space cca where c is the percentage of each control interval to be left free for insertions ca is the percentage of control intervals in each control area to be left empty Question 9. How do you decide on optimum values for C, free space etc? Answer. C size should be based on record length type of processing. Usually C is 4K. If record length is larger greater than 1K, chose 6K or 8K. Free space should be large if more number of insertions are envisaged. Usual values are 20, 20. When heavy updates are expected, C size can be calculated. Question 10. What is share ops? Answer. Share ops is a parameter in the define and specifies how an object can be shared among users. It is coded as share ops of B, where A is the cross region share option E. How two or more jobs on a single system can share the file, while B is the cross system share option E. How two or more jobs on different MV shesh can share the file. Usual value is 2 3. Question 11. What is the meaning of each of the values in Sherry Opts 2 3? Answer. Value of 2 for cross region means that the file can be processed simultaneously by multiple users provided only one of them is an updater. Value of 3 for cross system means that any number of jobs can process the file for input or output. WARM does nothing to ensure integrity. Question 12. How do you define a KSTS? Answer. Define cluster cluster name with the indexed parameter. Also specify the D's name for the data component and the D's index component. Other important palms are record size keys. Share options. 
Question 13. What happens when you open an empty WAM file in a COBOL program for input? Answer. A WAM file that has never contained a record is treated as unavailable. Attempting to open for input will fail. An empty file can be opened for output only. When you open for output, COBOL will write a dummy record to the file and then delete it out. Question 14. How do you define a GDG? Answer. Use the define generation with atar group command. In the same it comes step, another dataset must be defined whose DCB parameters are used when new generations of the GDG are created. This dataset is known as the model dataset. The D's name of this model dataset must be the same as that of the GDG. So use a disp of keep rather than catalog and also specify space equals TRK, 0. Question 15. Suppose a generation of GDG gets created in a particular step of a proc. How would you refer the current generation in a subsequent step? What would be the disposition of this generation now? Answer. Relative generation numbers are updated only at the end of the job, not at the end of a step. To allocate a new generation, we would be using plus one with a disp of new cat delete. To refer to this in a subsequent step in the same job, we would again use plus one but with a disp of shr or old.